Okay, so it's been um, it's been about 18 hours, and uh, I've taken the part out of here. Uh, you can see this was uh, fresh water um, um, when I started, and the only thing it had was some a uh, uh, little bit of washing soda uh, added to it. You can see I've brushed I've brushed these. Um, these anodes off once um, I would take the part out of the water and then I would brush the um, I would brush the uh, uh, you know the layer the loose layer off of the part I'm cleaning um, uh, rinse it off with fresh water and then put it back in the in the solution um, but you can see how all of the rust uh, leaves the part and uh, and and gets redeposited onto these uh, uh, sacrificial anodes. The um, uh, that sediment will will scrape right off um, uh, without without any real effort at all. It's it's just really loose and it's on the surface. Uh, this is. Uh, this is what the part looks like. I've taken it out and uh, um, rinsed it off with fresh water, and um, then I put the propane torch on it to make sure it gets it gets dried thoroughly. Um, I could have taken this out at about four hours, but inside these holes, um, it was it was really scaly and bad, so I I let it go for longer. Uh, the other option was to try to get try to get them screws out and um, they might look bad on the camera but I can tell you that they look even worse um, fresh up this is what uh, this is what it looked like when it got started there's a loose scale on the inside and um, these screws look look like they're better this one uh, this one's been replaced somebody uh, tapped it out put uh, uh, put flat washers and a different kind of screw in it to uh, um, as a repair the way these work you set them uh, you don't necessarily set them on the fire. You uh, you set them uh, on a wood stove uh, where there's uh, some measure of uh, controlled heat, because you can't. Uh, if you put burning hot iron onto your fine linens, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have scorched linens. Um, if you put irons that are too hot. Um, onto a starch solution you're gonna have burnt starch so you would uh, you would use these you, you usually would you would have two or more uh, you have one on have one on the stove getting hot and then you're and then you're using the other one so um, what you would use is a, a, a handle like this it's got a wood arch and it's got a lasp, uh, clasp arrangement underneath. You'd reach over. You reach over and grab the nut, the knob with your fingers. And as you pull, as you pull, it release the clasp or close it. It's spring loaded. It's got a simple spring, spring steel right here. So you just stick it. You stick it on the top. Pull the clasp. Push it down, and uh, and it's attached. This is a different manufacturer for this one, but this handle, and it's got a slightly, uh, it's got a slightly smaller footprint, but it's taller, so the the weight is the same. But this handle will work just fine on this, also. So if you can find, if you can find yourself one working handle, and if the rest of your flat irons only show up like this, you're set. 
because because the one handle will fit most. Might not fit them exactly the same, but it'll fit most as long as as long as the open holes look like that, an oval with a bar through it. The other style has a uh, um, the other style has the handle built in. And then there's specialty irons. This one's meant for getting in tiny, tiny little areas that you just can't get the bigger one in. These are these are marked by weight. These are all these are all eight pound eight pound clothes irons, flat irons. So think about, think about that when you're picking up your electric one you think it gets heavy at the end of the day uh, here's the other accessory you'd stick this on um, it's dimpled it's it's made out of stamp steel heavy tin it's um, it's got a um, uh, dimples on the bottom to, to keep it up um, to keep it up off your surface and you would sit this on your actual table or your um, or your ironing board, and um, at those in those times, um, that was what it actually was. It was a board, and then you'd stick um, a piece of cloth if you had it um, over the top of it, um, and then you would iron your uh, um, you would iron your clothes that you want. Um, wrinkle free you would start when they were pretty much damp and um, and then use the iron to, to finish drying them out which is about opposite of what they of what they use now you uh, you start with dry clothes and then you've got a a, a sprayer attachment to add water uh, or the iron adds steam but um, this is just the other way to to go about it so, I thought I'd show you the progress on that 